Hey guys, day six. I'm almost done. I've come to the point where it's really not, really wasn't ever a challenge, but um, I think I've come to the point where I'm kind of more uh, used to it. I'm more accepting of the fact that I don't have it, and it's not really a, um, I don't miss it really. Uh, part of why I do what I do is because of business, and honestly, if I didn't have business, and I wasn't a personal trainer, I wasn't in a position that I was that I'm in now. It probably wouldn't even matter. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even be on as much as I am. But like I mentioned before, social media is like a part-time job, and it's just something that comes with the territory. So, um, yeah, today I got to spend some time with my son. We had fun. He's getting into wrestling now. For some of you may not know, I'm kind of a big wrestling fan. Uh, been a wrestling fan for years since I was a kid, but we we got to eat some sushi and we got to relax. So you know that's kind of how my Saturday went. But yeah, day six and we're going to day seven tomorrow. So let's see what happens. Day seven and it's about seven something in the morning. So it's finally my last day. No social media. I'm at a park right now. This is actually a park I grew up in. Uh, I had summer fun and I used to come here when I was really young. But I had a client cancel this morning, so just kind of enjoying the morning, you know? Um, I have a hard, I don't, I don't think it ever gets easy to wake up early, but when I do wake up early, I love it. Cause I get to see, it's just so quiet. You know, no one's up and I just feel so relaxed. And I'm just enjoying the scenery. So I think today I'm gonna to try to do as much as I can. I wanted to do my taxes and all, but my computer was acting up, so I gotta I gotta turn that in and fix it and get it a little bit faster. But social media, what it comes down to is it's okay to go on, but don't let it consume your life. And that's kind of my whole um, the whole idea behind this whole thing, and to just kind of make people a little bit more aware of their surroundings and what they do. I think we tend to neglect a lot of things because we're on social media. And the most important thing is we neglect the people that are around us that we're talking to, especially our children. So like I just spent time with my son yesterday and when I'm with him, I make it a point to not be on Instagram or Facebook at all. Um, and if we take any pictures or videos, I post it later on. My time is, his time is my time and it's just me and him. In a nutshell, that's what it is. Social media is great, it's fun, but don't neglect those around you and don't neglect things like work, chores, or things that you have to do. Because social media, like anything, can become addicting. And you wanna make sure that you pay attention to what's around you. Hey guys, it's about 7 p.m. on day seven. And I got one word for you. When you're not constantly on social media, you do something called being productive. So I just got through prepping my meals for the next two to three days or so. Uh, washing clothes, went shopping today, got a lot of fresh stuff. So let me show you kind of what I did. So I like to um, shop for like pretty much the whole week. So I got some beans over here. I'm gonna make like a bean dish chili thing. Got my lemon orange water right there. Always drink that in the morning. Water's all full, filtered water for the whole week. That's some tempeh. And always a must in my place is the greens. I got kale, I got butter lettuce. Making a salad right now. Prep the vegan sausage and tofu. Well, they actually call it uh, scrambled tofu. But anyway, it's like eggs. Let me show you. Is it sausage? Is it not? You can't tell. But anyway, that's how it looks. So I normally prep for at least six meals or so. And this is my dinner for tonight, my salad. I got some cashews. Salad does not have to be boring. So you got red peppers, um, bell peppers, and avocado, if you can see in there. And when I'm productive, I feel great. So anyway, you want to be healthy. I know this this day seven, uh, these seven days have nothing to do with eating, but 
just wanted to kind of um, let you come into my life a little bit and let you know what I'm doing tonight. All right, guys, that was day seven. And tomorrow morning, I wake up and I do what I've done for a long time. And that's motivate and help to inspire people to live a, a healthy lifestyle. Um, so it was a great experience. And again, I did it to build self-awareness of what I do and my addiction like everyone else addiction can come in many forms it can come in drugs alcohol food or the things that we do every day check our phones text any little thing and for myself i wanted to build awareness and i did and i learned a lot and i think i had a great time um but here's the thing you want to ask yourself first you know, before it's great to post things and to always be active on social media, but when you post things or before you do, you have to ask yourself the question, why am I doing it? Is it worth it? Is it worth the time to come up with a caption and, you know, have your eyes off of the person that you're looking at and talking to and have it on your phone? Is it worth it? Is one shot of the ocean worth five to ten minutes of posting because that's kind of sometimes it is you add in the hashtags and then you got tag people in it and it's a lot my purpose and the reason why i'm always on social media i do what i do is for you for people who watch my videos for people who follow me on instagram who think that what I post maybe helps them or inspires them in some way to live a healthier lifestyle. That's why I do what I do. And that's why I'm on so much. If I didn't do what I did and maybe I was just, I had an office job and I wasn't a trainer and I wasn't in a position that I'm in now, I probably wouldn't be on that much to be honest with you. And I probably wouldn't post um, as much as I do. I post five days a week or so and I'm constantly active and it's because I'm trying to inspire people and, and help people. That's what I do. So you have to ask yourself, why do you do what you do? You know, and, and add up all the times that you post things throughout the day. How long does it take? Have you ever tried timing yourself? I think you'd be interested to find out exactly how much of your time is on social media, spent on social media in a day and definitely in a week. Try that. One last thing I wanna share with you before I end this seven day is um, the other day I I was at a park, uh, I was about to train a client and then I saw a family. And I saw uh, uh, a, a couple and their baby, not really a baby but a toddler, like maybe two years old or so, with a small little bike that he was learning how to ride. And I thought back to my when my son was small, because now he's like 10 years old, and I really missed it. And I see things like that, and it hits me. And what hits me is how fast, how fast my son have, has grown, and mostly how fast life goes by. And I remember taking him to you know, on a bike ride and, and learning how to bike and, and all that stuff. I remember when he had training wheels and now he's like biking with me uh, for miles and running, you know, for miles as well. And I miss those times and I cherish it. And at the time I didn't appreciate it. And I thought, oh man, these training wheels and oh, this crib and these things I gotta do and change his diaper. But I look back at it now and I and I appreciate it and I miss it and if I could turn back time to you know do it all over again I would in a heartbeat my message to you ending this is moments like that moments that we can't get back moments that we spend with our family our loved ones and are we truly in the moment are we truly focused on them or are we on our phone you know, are we at a family dinner and we're on our phone texting or on Facebook? Are we 
having a conversation with our grandma, maybe in a senior home, and we're trying to post something on Facebook. Are we in the moment? Because it's moments like these that in the future, you'll miss and you'll truly, truly miss and appreciate when they're gone. So I tell you this right now, social media, a great way to express yourself, but don't forget to express yourself in real life with real people that are right in front of you every single day. And show your appreciation to people by just simply paying attention to them and being present, totally being present. And there's a difference between being present and being there. Anyone can be there in a conversation, but to be present and to actually listen and have your undivided attention on that person, that's what means everything. Because let's face it, time goes by fast and life goes by fast and we don't get do-overs all the time. You only experience things once. So experience it the right way with your own eyes and not through a phone. I hope you like this seven day, one week, no social media challenge and try it on your own and see if you can do it. And let me know how it goes. Until my next video, it's time to start motivating, inspire, and move. I'm back on the job again. Good night.